Karen Burchill. This will be a quick video on how to print off um, anything from the computer. It could be a picture, it could be um, text, a quote, words that you want to put onto your art journal page. Sometimes I don't want to have it on just regular copy paper and have it white and I color it. Sometimes I want to put it and I want it to be clear as if I did the lettering myself. So I'm going to show you how to put it onto and I have, this is deli paper that I've gotten a hold of and tracing paper. This is stuff that I bought buck twenty-five at the dollar store and I have bits and pieces of tracing paper that I've had, you know, just stacks of it and stuff. So the process is relatively easy. What I do is put, select the quote, picture, whatever I want to print. I have a list of free fonts that that I've downloaded onto and into my Word program. So I look through those and pick the font. I just made myself a handy dandy um, guide and so I pick my font, pick the size, pick the quotes. So the next step is to prepare the tracing paper. Now if for me the deli paper actually is the right size. You need to make, you need to use whatever cutter you can, scissors if you have it, um, cut it down to the size of regular copy paper. So that's what I have here. It's just some regular copy paper and it just fits neatly in the thing. It doesn't go over the edges, doesn't go longer. Um, now either you can tape it, put a little bit of tape at the top, which is what I did for the first several times, or what I attempted to do the last time is I just used my glue stick and I just put a bead of glue right across the top and press that in there trying to get it a little bit straighter than than what I just did. You don't want any lip ripples or anything and then you feed it into the paper tray. Now you can only do this one sheet at a time. So we have this set up. This is my, it is a laser printer. I have not tried this with a um, jet set printer, but I assume it would work the same way. So I just feed it into the paper tray. and go to my computer and hit print and let it go through. On occasion it does jam, at which time I simply unjam it, turn off the printer, run a piece sheet just on plain copy paper. And so there you see I have and then I can just remove it off and I have it nicely on to some deli paper. So let's just repeat this. Let's try this with some tissue paper. So again, I've cut this to size. All I'm going to do is Put a little bit of glue at the top and you can use the same bottom sheet as long as you don't get a buildup in there. Make it nice and smooth. Put it in the printer. And hit print. Cross your fingers. And there you have it. So we've printed off um, some phrases. 
some quotes that I'm going to put on some of my Journaling by Five pages onto both tissue paper and to deli paper. Deli paper, or at least the deli paper that I have, tends to um, pretty much disappear. You do not see the paper. The tissue paper, depending on which source I've taken it from, um, it's a little less transparent, translucent, a little more opaque, depending. But it's still a lot better than just regular copy paper. And again, at different times, you want different looks. So now I've just uploaded um, some free coloring pages that you can access that I found through Pinterest. There's other free art that you can access and print off. You can also print off something out of your own personal photos. Uh, of course, this is a black and white printer, so it will be black and white, but it can go on the tissue paper and then you can apply it onto a journal page. So whatever you're printing off, it doesn't matter. The process is exactly the same. And here we go. For someone like me, I don't, I'm still developing my skills as a drawer. I don't do a lot of drawing and lettering. So this is one way for me to continue with my art journaling and feel good about it and while developing my skills. So now sometimes at the top, depending on how much glue you put. So there it is. So I would just cut those out and I may paint them. So thank you for watching. Um, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. I plan on doing a lot of videos, um, process videos, tutorial videos on, on different art journaling techniques. As I learn, I, I want to share organizational things. Um, the best way to make sure that you know about what videos I'm putting out there is to subscribe and then you can decide nope that's not of interest to me oh that's something that I want to talk about if there's something specific that you would like me to talk about leave a comment below I'm always open to ideas and I try to answer everybody's um, comments thank you very much bye